took me long enough. I've been meaning to stream this little fun follow-up installment to Heart of the Woods, but just life decided to turn me into a bear who desires nothing but hibernation on the past few weekends, uh, the Saturdays which I had normally planned to continue streaming other games, but uh, life just completely decided to smack me down and bury me in sleep. So it never transpired, so you know what? We're gonna play it. On my own time. Just for the heck of it. This is I Told You So with Tara and Morgan. A series of, uh... Side stories, companion pieces, follow-up pieces to Heart of the Woods. My studio, Ilan. Released at some point in time. I forget the exact date. Like, the first few episodes were released in the preceding few months after the game's initial release. And then there were a few more episodes added recently. Like, within the past year. So there's a lot... There's a good bit of fun to have here. As you know, Heart of the Woods started out with uh, Terra and Mads and Terra Normal. The uh, cryptid hunting uh, paranormal research podcast show hosted by Terra with the uh, Mads being a uh, camera woman, uh, researcher, babysitter, and whatnot. Their final episode was in uh, Eisenfeld, the episode where uh, Mads had decided to hang it up, move on, resume her own life, so to speak, that she had put on hold for ter the sake of Terra and Terra Normal. They had so much to work out. They came through it. Worked through the Eisenfeld incident together. Came away with so much more. And this... Is the, uh... Result that came out of it for uh, Tara and Morgan. With uh, Mads moving on to her own things, obviously. She trained Morgan. How to essentially do what she did for Tara. And this is the in-universe, I believe the explanation is, this is the uh, rebranded Terra Normal. Now that she has the proof that these things are real, Terra Normal is now I Told You So with Terra and Morgan. And now... Here's our four episodes here. Honestly? Let's just start. Let's just start out left to right. So it's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. Yes. Get back here. Do you really have to be like this every single year? Always. Uh, yes. This is literally the best day of the year. I'm legally allowed to be as excited as I want. It's in my contract. I don't remember that being a law. Well, it isn't a law yet, but soon. Soon. Ooh, spooky you I. Soon. Soon. Hmm. Well, okay then. Anyway, welcome everyone to the totally terrifying Terranormal Halloween special. <laughs> or at least the part of it we're going to include in this little bonus game. These things tend to go on for hours. Consider yourselves lucky. On that note, let's start the show by taking a look at some of the more awesome creations in this very special edition of... Frightful Fan Art! Dun dun dun! We've got a real treat for you this week. Our friend Kiri has put together some super awesome comics involving yours truly. And that's of course... Of course! I think the term is for coma? Ooh! Oh yeah, that means you're supposed to read them all in a different direction, right? Don't worry, you won't get lost. The panels are numbered. Heads the four. I love this so much. Oh, I've seen this one. Yes. 
Turn King Mag's door down at Halloween. Going, pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. How the fuck did you do that with your mouth? It certainly does capture your <laughs> essence, that's for sure. Except it's usually three in the morning rather than midnight. Power of Halloween energy. New challenge. Halloween challenge. I think I'm better off not knowing. Thanks. Also, who's Rachel? Eh, probably nobody important. Next! <laughs> now isn't this a blast from the past? Goth makeup tutorial. What you need. You need one of each item. Hmm. And would like, comment, and subscribe! <laughs> Why is, it, why is it 4K? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I never looked like that. <laughs> oh no, bad scoff face. And I suppose you won't mind if I show the audience a certain photo I just happen to have right here in my hand. Oh no, oh no, show us. Show us the forbidden mad scoff. Don't you dare. Do it. <laughs> oh, I hate to admit it, but you got <laughs> this look even better than I did. When are you going to bring back the clip on piercings? Oh, that is... Yes. <laughs> Very funny. What a silly photo that definitely isn't me. Thanks, Tara. That's enough of that now. You know, Mads, I bet you can still pull it off. Maybe edgy goth vlogging was your true calling all along. Uh oh But know this. If you do ever decide to challenge me, I will crush you without hesitation, without mercy. Okay, time for our last <laughs> one. Yeah... Hey, it's spooky season. That was this certainly has spooky. Definitely happened before. Yeah, plus one subs, plus one subs. Achoo! Four hundred, four hundred bits. Please cover your mouth. Are you kidding me? This happens like once a week. Yes, excellent. If I gotta sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze in style. Do you actually get more subs for dabbing? If we had a sprite of me dabbing, maybe we'd find out. Also, Make it happen. I will say that Abby Gay IRL is a fantastic username. Nah. If I ever get to be friends with someone named Abigail, I'm gonna make them get that username on literally every website. Oh no, that's fortuitous. Where are you going to find someone named Abigail who has zero web presence? <laughs> well, I wonder where that would happen. Uh, I can dream, can't I? Hmm. Last but not least, here's a couple pieces of art depicting yours truly in all her glory. You're all so good to me. All right. Let's start with a very sufficiently spooky submission from our good friend Addie. So, who? who? I don't know, but doesn't the name seem familiar? Addie? I'm just gonna oh. say it. I'd hit that. Yeah. Are you really thirsting over a drawing of yourself? Look, I know hot when I see it. Demons are hot. I'm hot. Therefore, demon me is hot. That's like, does that qualify as hot squared? I see we're reaching levels of egoism previously thought impossible this evening. I'm moving on before you start making this really weird. But that's, I need, I need, I need the formulas behind this Terra. I need the Terra math. This final piece is from Lisa, another friend of ours. You may have seen it before somewhere else, but it was too good not to show here as well. Cute! I love Aww. this! I totally want that shirt. It'd be great for doing an episode on water-based cryptids. Or fish girls. Water-based cryptids? Fish girls? It didn't... Does that... So this is really the past, then, because that... That comes true. That doesn't seem very on-brand. Yeah, but fish girls are cute. Squid girls, too. Squid girls? Or jellyfish girls. Squid girls, jellyfish girls. That's a... We get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I don't get? When fish girls have breasts, they don't give birth to live young, right? Why do they need them? I guess what I'm trying to say yeah. is... Do fish girls lactate? Uh, wow, what a great piece of art! mammals! Yes, let's. Uh, now then, on to our next event. This one is a little something I like to call trick or truth. Oh no! Oh! Back at the beginning of the month, we asked you Trigger truth, a paranormal special. To send in your very finest photos of supernatural phenomena that you're absolutely sure are real. I asked my lovely assistant. Don't call me that. 
to pick out some of the best submissions for me to examine and give my expert opinion on. Remember, when in doubt, it's always best to rely on a real professional. A real professional? What are you a professional of, exactly? Of awesomeness? Roll the first slide! Oh, this is good. This is very good. I'm Whoa. loving this. Can we get a zoom on that? Zoom. Enhance. Enhance. Enhance! Enhance, yes! So, Ooh. what do you think that is, exactly? Hmm. Hell if I know, but it kicks ass. I love her. Shadow Weecher. Truth! Died. Next up, we've got... Now see, this is all wrong. This is like the total opposite of that last one. Fuzzy? Hey, I think it looks a lot more convincing than the last one. Shadows aside, its definition is much clearer. Is this a clip of the tree spirit for the actual main game? Mads, please. Trust the expert. If you look closely, you can see that this is clearly a drawing. A really good drawing, but definitely a drawing. And there's uh -huh. no room in Terra Normal for drawings. Trick! But I'm Next! What's next? Now, this one is interesting. Minimalist, oh? but in a good way. I feel like there's a lot you could take away from it. Fairy? You know, something about this one looks oddly familiar. Have you seen a lot of weird floating lights around lately? No more than usual. You know, looking at it, I kind of get what you mean, though. Something about it is definitely familiar. Oh? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a trick because looking at it makes me feel weird, and I'd like to move on. Next. Fair enough. According to the email, Whoa, hello. With, Marina here was on a trip to the southwest with her girlfriend when the two of them spotted these strange lights above their motel. Oh, hello there. The only light I need to see here is the light of their love. You two are so cute. He's correct, though, honestly. Highway Blossoms, really cute. I know we've never met, but if I don't get to come to your wedding, I'm going to be very disappointed. Also, shout out to the world's largest thermometer behind them. I've been there and I can confirm it's as cool as it looks. When were you in Baker? It was during one of my semi-annual Roswell trips. I figured maybe some aliens might have made it to California. You never know. I mean, yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm giving this one a truth because those lights are obviously aliens and those two are way too cute for me to doubt them. Honestly, yeah. Next! That really gives me the creeps. Whoa, okay. Hey, Mads, this looks like you every time you see that cute barista you have <laughs> on through the coffee shop window. Uh-oh, busted. <laughs> You're a real sucker for pink hair, huh? If you ever found someone with natural pink hair, you'd be set for life. Funny about that. June, if you're watching this, I swear she has no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> oh my god, you know her name? That's so cute. You, oh, oh, you have given Tara an unimaginable weapon against you, Tess. Sounds Mads. like we got our pick for this pick, then. Next! Ma <laughs> Maddie! <I'm in> <laughs> so, this one comes with a little personal message from one Miss Memphis. Like the city? Memphis. That's Memphis. I'm pretty sure M. Fish is short for someone's name. Let's get that up on screen. Hi, Tara. I'm a huge fan of your show, and I just finished catching up on every single episode. You're my favorite vlogger, and I can't wait to watch more. Keep being cute and awesome. Smiley face. Smiley face. Oh. That's really sweet. For sure. The best part about emails like this is that I can really feel the energy coming from her words. You just know someone like this is bursting with energy in real life. A woman after my own heart. That's Morgan, isn't it? Thanks, Mfish. You keep being cute and awesome, too. Also, DM me. <laughs> Next slide! Okay, so, uh, we've got a bunch of holes in the snow. If I'm being honest, I just picked this one because of the fantastic shot composition. Wherever M. Fish is from, he must have a great film school. Ah. Oh shit, I got it. They're footprints! Excellent deduction. What's so paranormal about a few footprints? That's just it, Mads. These aren't just any footprints. These are footprints of something strange. Something big. Something terranormal. Title drop. Roll the credits. Oh boy. Sounds like a Yeti to me, folks. Can't go wrong with a good old fashioned Yeti. Which means, of course, this one is clearly. Terranormal? True. Yeah. And hey, M. Fish, 
I'm serious about those DMs. Hey, hey, wink, wink. Next. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the starched pants. Is that. It sure is. The Fresno Nightcrawler. Oh shit. I can't believe it. Real, indisputable photographic evidence. Mads, this is amazing. Thank you. Happy Halloween, Tara. Oh, that's cute. You're really gonna make me cry on camera, huh? Keep it together, Miss Professional. Let's hear that verdict. I don't even have to say it, but you all know that hasn't stopped me yet. Truth. Truth. Oh. And that's gonna do it for this year's Trick or Truth. But don't worry, we aren't done yet. Looks like we've got a bit more time before our writer has to get back to doing something actually productive. So let's finish with one more section. One I like to call Maddie's Monstrous Movie Monologue. <laughs> Given that it's Halloween, Maddie's going to be talking about her favorite horror film. Huh? Not movie. Film. We already talked about this. Very important distinction. Yeah, get it right. But that messes up the title. The alliteration. Can just do something with all F words instead. F f fatties. F fad. Fada, fa fa I mm. thought you wanted me to stop using so many F words. Yeah. <laughs> oh, forget it. <clears throat> All right, Mads. What do we got? When it was first released in 1982, John Carpenter's horror masterpiece, The Thing, was torn apart by critics. While criticism was aimed at a number of elements, one consistent point of critique was its relentlessly bleak tone. All those critics are wrong, of course. The Thing uses its environment, effects, music, and performances to create a tone that, while dark, is unparalleled in the world of horror in terms of sheer tension. Given that The Thing is technically a remake, Carpenter didn't have a choice when it came to the setting. It would have been easy to simply throw all the characters in a base and say they're cold, but John Carpenter isn't the type to take it easy. The one Chloe that might want to call it quits here. She's going to be like this for a while. <laughs> but thanks for taking the time to stop by. We hope you enjoyed getting this little treat from us. Our trick, depending on whether or not you were actually expecting it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy Halloween! We'll see you all again real soon! I wanted to see how long Mads would go on. <laughs> That's precious! <gasps> Ooh! Surprise that. Happy Halloween, everyone! Aww! Now, oh, yes, we can see the uh, fan art from the uh, Halloween special here, including Goth Mads. Which is precious. Demon Tara. <laughs> I I love these so much. Abby Gay IRL, yes. Okay, keep that going in order of uh, timeline here. So we've got, I think these two are the uh, sort of uh, post true end release here. Notice the the these two are clearly post-release because they have uh, Morgan in them. But alas. And that's why you should never follow faceless versions of your super cool best friend into the woods during a snowstorm. It's really not that hard to understand. Oh, okay. This is post-true ending, too. Because obviously, that is what happened. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> yes, I do. Now then, I guess that just leaves us with the grand finale, doesn't it? moment you've all been waiting for. That makes it sound like they're excited to get rid of me. Okay, maybe not waiting for. Uh, dreading? The next stage in the evolution of Terra Normal. Closer. Despondent over? Abigail, hello. About? Morgan. Yeah, those. The moment you've all been despond bummed about. Uh, saying farewell to my wonderful co-host, Maddie Rains. As you all know, she's been with Terra Normal since the very beginning. And with her departure, oh. <laughs> we say farewell to this first era of Terra Normal that she helped build. But hold off on those tears, ladies. Our lovely Mads is moving on to bigger and better things. First, a college degree. As a film major, of course. Of course. And secondly, to spend more time with her brand new bae. Boo! <laughs> Whoa, deja vu. 
I could have sworn you did that to us before once. Oh, Abigail, looking I cute. So. I've never been on camera before. At least, not for anyone other than Madison. <laughs> no time like the present, sweetie. Oh. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Ah, oh, yes. Well, my name is Abigail Dulcing, and I am Madison's beloved. It is a pleasure to meet all of you. Oh. Isn't she great, folks? Absolutely. She's amazing. You're amazing, sweetie. Oh. oh thank you, my love. You never fail to set my heart aflutter. My heart. Guys, camera, show. <laughs> no gushing over each. Nothing. No gushing over each other too much on camera. We have a show to perform. Right. right. Sorry. We'll pick this up later, honey. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yes, please. <laughs> Ladies. As you see, Mads has a priority straight. <laughs> well, not straight, obviously, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Priorities gay. <laughs> yes. This guy gets it. Oh, yeah. Before we say our goodbyes, I want to reassure all my loving fans that the show is far from over. In fact, now that we've proven that I was right about everything all along, and everything never ever. Be doubted about anything ever. Everything ever. All along, of all time, never doubt. I think we might be due for a rebranding of sorts. Terra Voice, never doubt me again. But that's a story for another time. That's right, Mads. For now, it's time for the big farewell. I'm... I'm gonna miss you, Mads. I'll miss you too. And I'll miss this show. But I won't be going far. I do still live with you after all. Yeah. And you'll be a guest on the show every now and then, right? I never said that I... Of course she will! <laughs> I'm taking that as a guarantee. Now then... It is now. I hope you'll join me in wishing a very fond farewell to Maddie and to the first era of our show. Thank you very much for all of your support over the years. I'll always be grateful for it. <laughs> you softy. Oh, hush. And yes, this is an ending. But it's a beginning, too. You'll see what we mean by that tomorrow. Trust us when we tell you that you're gonna love it. Now, would you like to do the honors, Mads? Oh, why not? Until then... Stay spooky, everyone. Stay spooky. Oh. And alas, the re-debut, I suppose, of Terra Normal. <laughs> what tune are you trying to replicate right now? You know, that one. Like, that one. You know. Y you know. I know. You know? Sure. You know. Meowdy, everyone. Today's the day. Meowdy. The day for what, I hear you ask. Well, ladies, sit back and get ready for me to blow your minds. <laughs> Today we enter phase two. Ooh, let's new go. Everything. New name, new content, and even a new co-host. Yeah. Gasp. I know, my dear unscripted friend. <laughs> it's quite the shock. Thank you, Abigail, for playing the part of the audience. Exclusively, that paranormal phenomena exist. It's time to incorporate my status as a pioneer in the field of cryptozoology into the show as a whole. Is this a 8-bit version of Morgan's theme? And who better to do that with than my partner in discovery, partner in crime, and partner in life. What's up? I'm Morgan. Yo, looking good. I like Isn't the look. She awesome. She's so awesome. You're so awesome, babe. Thanks, babe. Also, you're gay. Bet. Bet. <laughs> anyway, Morgan will be joining me as a co-host <laughs> going forward. The two of us are going to uncover every hidden secret, every last cover-up, and everything that the folks at the top don't want you to see. Oh yeah. Forgive me if I am mistaken, but I believe all three of those examples are the same thing, are they not? Oh, Abby, you sweet yet misguided soul. All three are 
very different. Although that may be because of all the time I've spent researching them. Very different, very distinct, very important. It takes a level of insight honed by years of study to truly discern the difference. Teach me her ways, Watching your sensei. Watching counts as research, right? Naturally. The best research, even. The most important research. Then I'm an expert, too. Good to know. And Boom. thanks to the tireless efforts of yours, truly, and her wonderful girlfriend slash research partner, that we were able to find real proof of the supernatural deep within the forests of... No saying the name of the town, please. Deep in the forests of an unnamed town full of magic. Much better. Oh, even David has a nice ring to it. Our footage of fairies, forest spirits, and other magical instances in this unnamed town catapulted us from indie darlings to worldwide sensations. It was pretty rad. So rad, in fact, that we realized we had to update the show to reflect that. And that update includes... New branding, new merch. A brand new name! Yeah! That's right, folks! It's time to say goodbye to Terranormal and say hello to the new and improved, extremely relevant, and very accurate title of our wonderful show. I told you so! Yeah! Wait, hang on. You told me that title was a joke. You aren't actually going with that, are you? You bet your ghost-loving ass I am! Yeah. So many of you people out there doubted me. They said I was crazy. I was on a wild goose chase. That what I was after was fake. Never doubt me again. Well, guess what? I was right! <laughs> and now I'm gonna brag about it all I want! Honestly, she deserves that. I told you! I told you, fuck! <laughs> Time to take it down a notch. Fine. But I did tell you, which means I have every right to rub it in. You do. And I'm pretty good at rubbing it in, too. If you know what I mean. She's not kidding. I've seen her really go to town on someone, and it ruled. She made him cry. What? <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, sis. Oh. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting to know you from a perspective other than posting in the comments section. You're still gonna post comments, though, right? Cause yours are always super sweet. Anything for you, babe. Oh. Okay, that's kind of gay. But also, I love you. Love you too. Ready to tell them about our new plans? Boy, am I. Boing, I boing, boing. so much new stuff coming your way that I don't even know where to start. I made you a numbered list, Tara. <laughs> you see this? Being awesome literally runs in their family. How's that for evolution? Hmm. Perhaps it has something to do with our bloodline being mixed with fair... Uh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> your bloodline was mixed with the, the, the fair maidens. Everyone loves a good fair maiden. Yes, correct. <laughs> good save, Matt. I know I do. Oh. Madison. <laughs> oh my god, you two. Oh my goodness, you two. Tara, the list? The list. Right, yeah, the list. Focus. Uh, let's see. First. First, you can expect a lot more interviews going forward. Ooh. Since we got our hands on some conclusive proof, tons of experts have finally started to turn my car. Um, I mean, have been asking enthusiastically to be on our show. Returning your calls, acknowledging your existence. Even about that one guy from that alien history show. You know, the one. The one with the giant afro. Plus, have any of you ever wanted an interview with an actual, real-life paranormal being? Oh. Well, get ready, because we just might have a little something for you there, too. Really? But that's not all. We've got non-interview stuff, too. That's right. We're going to be doing something even more fun. One of my favorite things to do, in fact. Oh, wait, hang on. No. Oh, no. Breaking, Breaking and entering. entering. <laughs> you do realize that announcing your intentions in a publicly viewable announcement video is absolutely going to be considered incriminating, right? You realize how bad an idea that is, right? You have to catch me first. <laughs> It'll be fun. We're celebrities now. Celebrities never <laughs> get in trouble. <laughs> she does have a point, Madison. Abby, no. We won't be breaking into any houses or anything. Just graveyards, ghost towns. Wild mid-range trespassing. Secret government facilities. Oh. -ho. Babe, we agreed no telling them about that one yet. Yet. We'll also be discussing how to successfully incorporate cryptid <laughs> stuff into a healthy relationship. Relationship advice with the with the Terra and Morgan. I see. 
So you'll just be talking about how much you love each other for a section of each video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's more complicated than that. That's actually exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> Lovely! Oh. And all your favorites will be returning, of course. Fan Art Friday, Factor Faction, and Reader Mail will always be staples of the show. Don't forget the rants. I think you mean the lectures, Mads. Go off. If you want Go off, Tara. Dance, Go off, Queen. Little monologues. Oh. Those were actually really fun. Oh, should we do Morgan movie monologues? Yeah. That would require watching movies. They're film. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, film monologue every now and then. Anyway, as you can see, we won't deprive you of any of your favorites. We'll just be giving you even more on top of it. It's totally win-win. Don't forget the smug sense of satisfaction, Tara. See, it's right here on my list. On your yeah, list. <laughs> that's the most important part. We're gonna have a ton of that. It's, see, it, it's number five on the list, Tara. It's uh, I circled it. I circled it three or four times and drew some really cute stars and a smiley face next to it. Great. Just for you. I'm sure that's a huge selling point. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure it actually is, Maddie. <sighs> yeah. <Let's see. laughs> it is. Yep, she can't deny it. Plus, if you ask nicely, maybe Morgan will do a segment on her workout routine. Oh. How is that relevant to the show? <laughs> a healthy, a healthy fitness routine will help you. In your uh, cryptid investigations. It's just a little gift from us to them. We know what the people want. Healthy relationship and healthy fitness routine. It, yeah, it's be the best you to investigate the truth of I the paranormal. Think... Yeah. I... I think that's very kind of you, Morgan. I look forward to following along. I'm sure we all are. Just one more reason to tune in. And we've got even more reasons too. So many reasons that I'm not even going to bother naming them all off because there's so many. Trust me. God, the cute little, the cute little relationship dynamics are... This. Relationship dynamic bits are adorable. I can't help it. not because she's making them up as she goes along. That's also the charm of the show. Of course not. Preparedness is my middle name. I thought it was Muriel. Me. <laughs> it's an expression, sweetie. Oh. Can I pick a middle name? Absolutely. Of course, honey. Although we should probably save that for later. You two are going to be wrapping up now, I assume? Sadly, yes. I'm sure you're all craving more, and we'll have it for you very, very soon. So just hold on a bit longer, and we'll deliver like you wouldn't believe. We won't be holding out on you. After all, there's no holding back when it comes to saying... I, I told, told you so! so. Okay, that's, that, that's a really cute ending hook. <laughs> that's how you're ending the shows now. That's a really cute ending hook. I love that. Aw. Okay, one more. Interview with the ghost. It's finally here. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's I Told You So's very first. Interview with a ghost! A ghost! I'm your host, Tara, alongside my handsome assistant, Morgan. Hey. Hey. So, Morgan, can you tell the audience a little bit about ghosts in your experience? Sure. From what I've seen, ghosts like to float around barefoot and turn into little lights when they don't want to be seen. And they're very gay. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Long-time listeners will be well aware of my many escapades in the Forgotten Cemeteries of Salem in search of a ghost. Oh. I'm proud to announce every single trip was 100% worth it. 100? Every show has its skeptics. Every believer has 10 non-believers behind them. But today, I can finally say... I told, told you, you so! Title drop, roll credits. Come on out! Abigail Dulcing! Da, da, da. Hey! Oh, so good to see you, Abby. And you too, Tara. I can't <laughs> believe it has been a full day since we last spoke. A full day? <laughs> Time really flies. It sure do. Let's get the show on the road. So, Abs, can you introduce yourself to our audience? 
Wait, that's another episode. Oh no. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see. I also spend a lot of time with my friend, the forest spirit. Hey, it's a, it's a te free teaser for the for the other episode. Uh, that's also gonna be another episode. Don't worry, folks. We'll fill you all in with due time. Hey, free teasers, sequel hooks. All of my activities are quite magical now that I think about it. What do you think are society's biggest misconceptions about ghosts? Oh, absolutely how scary they are. Ghosts in stories and films terrify me. But cuddling with Madison no, when I... you watch horror movies isn't so bad. So maybe it's a good thing. Oh. Gay. Our viewers gay, gay, lesbian, gay. Everything. That's why I put I my life it. on the line daily to bring them the content they deserve. Proof? We asked you to bring a souvenir from your time as a ghost. What do you got for us? I couldn't think of much, so instead I thought I could demonstrate a skill only a former ghost could perform. Oh, ghost tech? Oh, a real former ghost demonstration. Ghost tech? Ghost no jutsu? What do you got? <clears throat> Vibrating intensely. <laughs> I'm very terrified. Got me good. Well done. Ah. 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 It was merely a joke, Tara. Please don't get scared. <laughs> that was pretty good, though, wasn't it? That was excellent. Uh, absolutely. See you right there, folks. <laughs> Abigail Smug. Love that. Here we go. What's one thing you'd like to tell all the other ghosts out there? Don't to lose hope. You'll find your very own someone someday soon. Aww. Oh. Love is the greatest magic. You'll find a way to be together. Love truly is the greatest magic. There's one thing we learned from this. So, learn how to turn book pages if you haven't yet. Then try uh, 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 something called manga. Oh no. It's so much more fun than stuffy old 1800s texts. Oh no. She has discovered manga. Look out. Floating on a plane. I never got the chance, but I bet it's really fun. Floating on a plane? And don't forget to brush your teeth. And I think she's gonna keep going. Probably. Well, that's all for this episode. I'm Tara. I'm Morgan. And, and we, we told, told you, you so. so. You did awesome, Abby. Yeah. Good job. Seriously, sweetheart, you were amazing. Aw, thank you, girls. I couldn't do it without you. Anyone hungry? I'm going to order a pizza. Camera still on. Apples? Camera still on. Of course, babe. Of course. Sure, we can stay for a bit. We've got time. Oh. You did awesome, Abby. That was precious. <laughs> And with that, we can say that the future of Terra Noble is in good hands. <laughs> now that Terra has, in fact, obtained pure, unadulterated, unabashed proof of the paranormal, Terra and Morgan, they can say without, beyond, without a shadow of a doubt that we told you so. That is seriously precious. If you are 
curious for more Studio Elan goodies. They're, they were running a Kickstarter for physical editions of their games. And honestly, I don't know if it would be possible. I don't know if it's even in consideration. But it would be absolutely precious if these got bundled with uh, Heart of the Woods as uh, post-game unlockables. I don't even know if that'd be possible, but that'd just be, that would be, just be cute to lump these in. It feels like it... These felt like a really uh, honest goodness, precious uh, supplementary uh, delightful little bonus bits uh, for this game. And I hope they get to uh, carried over into the physical release of Heart of the Woods. If you're interested in, in physical editions of any of their, ca any of their games, uh, it's, uh, I think the Kickstarter covers uh, the three core releases, uh, Highway Blossoms, uh, Heart of the Woods, and Please Be Happy. So check it out! Kickstarter is beyond backed, and they're just chugging away at stretch goals, but if you're interested in picking up one of them, one or more of them, through uh, the Kickstarter, complete with bonus uh, charms and uh, keychains and whatnot, uh, check out the Kickstarter. Throw them, throw them a few uh, doubloons and uh, pick yourself up some cute, some cute uh, sapphic swag. Check it out. And we will see you somewhere down the line. Remember, whatever happens, stay spooky, everyone. They told you so.